there's one thing that I love, that I freaking love about the Tampa Hard Rock Casino. First hand that we look at is King 10 offsuit. I make it $5 to go in late position. The button and middle position players make the call. We're going four ways to a flop of Ace 7 6 Rainbow. I see bet $10 hoping to take it down. We get through two players, but then we get called by the big blind, and then the mid position player jams all in for a little over $70. Unfortunately, we have to muck this one, and the other player folds as well. Nothing too crazy here, but I thought it was cool, so I wanted to show you guys. We look down at pocket sevens facing a $35 bet. We fold and go to the very next hand, which is pocket sevens. So obviously I make it $7 to go since the action's on us. And we get a few callers and we go to a board of 896 rainbow. I bet $15 and we take it down. Again, nothing significant, but I thought it was cool. So after playing a bunch of $5, $2 hands, $7, Kind of got a little bit of a low stack right now, but I look down at ace 10 suited in mid position and make it seven dollars to go. We get four callers and see a flop of 10, two, six rainbow. I make it $16 and we get two callers. The turn comes a four of diamonds. I go all in for $27. We get one caller and see the three of spades on the river. I show my hand and we're good. So here I look down at Queen King off. I make it seven dollars to go and the whole table makes the call. Yes, we're going nine ways to a flop, which comes King Ace Four Two Hearts. It gets checked to me and I bet $23. We get one caller and we see the Queen of Clubs on the turn. He checks and I think about betting, but I'm not too sure how much I would bet and get anything accomplished here. I don't have a huge stack, so betting here will get called by any straight or flush draws. And of course, if I'm beat already, I would need to improve on the river to win. So I check it back and the river comes the Ace of Hearts. He bets 20 and while the river destroys us most of the time, for $20, I don't think I can fold here, even though I got counterfeited. Just in case he's bluffing or has some kind of low pocket pair, I toss in the call and we get shown the Jack High Flush. Our three pair isn't going to win this one. Three pair. <laughs> Looking down at 5 a suited on the small blind, the mid position player makes it $5 to go. Me and several other players make the call and go to a flop of 9-9 nine, nine deuce. It checks around and the turn comes the 7 of clubs. Me and the big blind check and the original raiser makes it 13 to go. Me and another player make the call and we go to the queen of clubs on the river giving us the nut flush. He makes a bet that is more than what I have, so I toss in my last $20 in chips. The player between us makes the fold, and we get shown pocket deuces for a full house. After busting out with my first buy-in, I rebuy for another 100 
and ask for a seat change and immediately wake up with pocket aces. There's a $5 straddle on, so when it comes to me in late position, I make it $25. I would usually raise it to like 15 to 20, but with a straddle on, I feel like it's justifiable to go a bit bigger here, and I was right. We get two callers and go to a flop of King Jack 5 Rainbow. I make it $25 again on the flop, and we get a player all in for 12. We get a call from the other player, and we go to the turn, which comes the seven of clubs. I go all in for 50, and we get called. The river comes in eight of spades. I got aces. I show my aces, and we take it down. The player said he had a pair plus flush draw. So after playing a bunch of bogus hands, I looked down once again at pocket aces. When it's on me, I figured this time it would be okay to bet $25 again, try to make it look like I'm representing a big pair because I bet $25 with aces earlier. I wouldn't do this twice, would I? Especially since there isn't a straddle on this time. I get one caller and when the flop comes nine high, I assemble a bet and get a fold before I can even officially place the bet. We take this one down. In this hand, I looked down at deuce ace and I wanted to play this as I would like an ace 10 or better. So I make a $10 preflop and we get one caller to a flop of ace deuce seven. We smash this flop, which is great. If our opponent has a nice ace in his hand, he's probably not gonna wanna let it go. I do a C bet of 15 bucks and we get an insta fold. Man, that sucks. I believe I'm in the small blind in this hand. Anyways, I look down at ace nine suited and under the gun makes it $10. Something to note here is that for some reason, that specific player keeps showing his missed flop hands. I guess you could call these bluffs. What I mean, for example, is if he bet $10 preflop and then C bet on an ace high board where I missed everything and fold, he would show like king high or queen high, but like, your hand was still beating my jack high. Listen, I could understand showing king high when you bet half pot on the turn or river and get a pair to fold, but he was doing this every single time. So I make the call and we see a flop of 10, seven, nine, two spades. The other gun player makes it 15 and I honestly don't think he hit anything on this board. So I raised to 40, hoping to take it down. I'm not sure if I was checking to see if my camera was recording or whatever, but I somehow missed that we had a third player with us. If I had known, I would have just called the 15 to see a turn. But now this third player makes the call for 40 and the under the gun player makes the call as well. Not really what I had in mind here. But when we see the ace of clubs on the turn, I feel like we have to be good here. The player on my left could be on some kind of flush draw and again, I think the under the gun player is full of it right now. He has thrown away money in several pots. I think I saw him buy in four times at this table since I sat down. After it gets checked to me, I bet $50 on the turn and both players make the call. Pot is growing pretty decently right now. We go to the river, which comes the six of hearts, which I think is an okay card to bet. I think I'm only really losing to pocket eights here. If anyone had jack eight on the flop, then we was already beat. So it is what it is if it's that hand. I honestly think that hand would have bet on the flop or turn to protect against a flush draw. I don't think he would just be calling. Or maybe watching too many poker vloggers made me think like this when it doesn't apply to one two. They definitely are playing bigger games than I am right now. Anyways, both players make the call and we see that under the gun 
had pocket tens for a flopped set. And then the other player between us chose 8-9 suited for a flopped straight flush draw. And he rivered the straight with the six of hearts. We was not only behind pre-flop, but on every single street. Man, I played this hand absolutely horribly. Ah, oh, man, I screwed up big time. What an unnecessary hand. All I have to do is fold pre-flop. <laughs> Unfreaking believable. My friend, that's too serious. Man, I screwed up so bad just now. That was horrible. See, with the second bullet, the goal is to get your money back and then play good hands, try to win one or two big pots, maybe an all in, double up. You got quadruple your original plan of buying in with a hundred. I can't believe how bad that hand went. <laughs> he flopped a set of tens and the player to my left flopped a straight flush draw. I was really bluffing at the flop. When I turned to pair, I gotta be good. <laughs> but if I just folded pre-flop, I would've still had like 180 in front of me right now. That's freaking, that is freaking disappointing. Turn two pair, the river comes, no flush, but a six and he rivered a straight and even if the six didn't come the other guy had pocket tens so i was last place pretty much the whole way through the hand <laughs> man that sucked that sucked my stupidity for playing ace nine but how often am i losing in that position in that spot versus that type of player that's bluffing every hand showing king high jack high queen high once the player to my left made the call of 40 i should have shut down i should have have bet anymore i should have gave it up and i would have had 140 would have been better than i think i ended the hand with like 20 bucks horrible i know it's not a lot of money but just the fact that i played bad is what's getting me mad that's what gets me angry because we made a comeback. We played pretty okay and then kept getting into bad hands and like I was rushing into things. So we bought in, we changed seats, we took a breeder and we got pocket aces twice. We had some momentum going to double up with the second bullet, basically getting us even. And then to basically throw it all away on one hand is absolutely devastating. Yeah, so uh, we're in for 200 and we're out for zero. So I believe this vlog is in the negative for counting just cash games. Man, that sucked. Ah, <sighs> man. Oh, this is why you don't play Ace Nine. <laughs> I bluffed at the wrong time. Bluffing into a set and then the set losing. That's a weird hand. It's going to be it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my misery. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next vlog.